Hey y'all, hey y'all, Jack Squad, YouTube world, how is everybody doing, right? I promise, this is the last time you're going to see me in this outfit, but I just needed to get some things off my chest, right? Anyway, don't forget to make it happen for yourself. You got to make it happen for yourself, okay? Um, like and share and comment and subscribe. Okay, um, all of my uh, social media stuff is down in the description box, as well as my um, email and my cash app, right? Um, right now, if I could sing, I'd sing y'all a little tune or something. I feel like singing, but I can't. Anyway, y'all, I watched uh, Love and Marriage Huntsville tonight. It was good. Let me tell y'all something. I... I missed my appointment. I go start therapy. It was gonna be through Zoom, but I missed it because um, I had an interview. That was the day I had the interview, so I gotta reschedule it Monday. But anyway, y'all, let me tell y'all something. Um, the Love and Marriage Huntsville. Now, Melanie did something. Uh, she went to see uh, Martell's mama, right? And my tells mama, I like the way she is really that she ain't got to fuss and argue. She's just a really a country woman, right? And I didn't know she realized she was that thin like that. But anyway, they met up for breakfast and Melanie said we need to clear some air about some things. And that very episode that I knew was gonna be a problem, Melanie said she blocked her after that, right? And she said Melanie was lazy and this and that and that and that. And Melanie explained to her, listen, there were times, especially when I had kids, that he would wait on me. There was times when I would wait on him. That was a marriage. That's what we did, right? And the mama said, well, girl, we, we, I said it, this and that, you know, but they got over it. But mama still, mama still, uh, she didn't take back what she said. She said, I said it. We can get past it and get through it. And I thought that was nice. Um, because, you know, I can only imagine the relationship that they had because they had been married a long time. And his mama was, I'm sure, like her, like a mama for her as well as her mama was like a mama for him. You know, because when y'all break up, when people break up or divorce or whatever they do, families get hurt. We got feelings too, right? Um, that's why I told my kids, unless y'all get ready to go, dun, 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 I don't want anyone to meet nobody else. And I don't because it's too hurtful and it's too, you get used to them, you like them, and now you can't talk to them. You know, it's too much, right? But anyway, the, the couples are at the retreat, and that therapist is therapeutic. He's doing his job, right? And uh, the Whitlows, Big Lou and uh, Tiffany, that's Tiffany. The other girl is Destiny. Tiffany, they can't really handle the truth. Now, oh, they had a lot to say to tell my soul and Tisha, but when the, the real qualified, certified, Degreed individual tell them about them, they couldn't handle it. They couldn't handle it. Now, he did break uh, Lou down, Lou cried a time or two. Um, I see on next week's preview that they leave. See, that's cowardly. Like, you, you want to tell everybody else what to do, and now you getting you the man telling you, and he's telling you, he, he's showing it, and he's making it so plain and clear. He's making it so plain and clear, right? Um, him and his wife, they're lovely together. And uh, uh, they leave. That's what he's saying next week. I don't know if they left or not, but that's what it's looking like, that they left. But uh, when, he, when Lou had the final breakthrough, the therapist said, the philosopher has become human. Right? I don't think Lou liked the fact of the man. But see, this is the problem a lot of people have. First of all, the man is older than Lou. I've always like to get advice from someone my senior elder you know i that's how you learn that's how you grow right i've got the best the best advice from elders i still listen to them now whether my family members ladies at my church uh any somebody's mama you know i they, they got there for they got there they got there right um they know a little more than you because they've lived longer number one Right. Number two is this man is uh, certified. Uh, well, you know, he, he, he's, he know what he's talking about. Right. And uh, I believe him, you know, because when he makes it, when he makes the points, he makes it so clear. You'd be like, oh, you know what I'm saying? I want him to. I, I'm trying to see how I can get him. Right. And I hope my therapist does that for me because, um, 
you know, I got issues, right? And situations and stuff in my background, you know, that I need fixed. I need to be fixed, right? Um, and, and I think they thought that they were perfect. And, and now that that has been shattered, they don't know what to do with it, right? They, they were the perfect people. See, you, nobody's perfect. Nobody's perfect, right? Anyway, the therapy, um, the therapy's going good. Now, the Kimmy and Maurice. Maurice wants more sex. Me, personally, I don't see a problem with it. That's your man. Now, she can say, well, we got them boys. Them, her son is gone out the house, and I don't think Monster's there that much. He's he's about grown. I don't see... You, may, you might not want to do it twice a day, every day, but I don't see why wrong with having sex with your man every day. I don't. I don't. Because every day, that's what you was doing to get him. You can't stop now that you got him. You can't stop. You get to keep that up. That's how you got him, sis. Um, I don't know, the therapist was saying, you know, she could do what she want with her body, and that is true. But if you knew, this is what I'm saying, I don't know, this is what I'm speculating, is that this is what was going on before y'all got married. That's what was going on. And you got married and got comfortable, like so many women do, and it's like, I don't feel like that every day, child. That's what I'm saying. You're going to have to compromise. He wanted twice a day, at least give it to him every day, once a day. I think that's a compromise. I don't know. Um, I don't know. Uh, Marceau stated that <clears throat> until, he basically was saying until they got on the show, their marriage was fine. It was fine because it wasn't under a microscope. Whenever you get on reality TV, you get under the microscope. And then you have to look at yourself. Other folks looking at you and you got to look at yourself. That's when the issues come, right? Because uh, what, you know, and then Tisha was saying that, you know, she's been obedient and submissive and she had to know that this man is good for her and so on and so forth. Right. And that's a good way that she answered. She said what she had to say. That sounded good. Right. But I think that there's more that Tisha wants to do. And because Marceau is such a traditionalist that he's not allowing her to do it. Now, she can do a little more than she was doing when they first got on, the, when the show first started. But um, I think he just wants Tisha to sit in the house and, and clean it and cook it and take care of the kids, right? Until you know, the kids grow up. Now what? Then what? But um, now I didn't see Destiny again. Now, we done had a couple episodes. I don't think we've seen, we've seen it in the previews. I don't think Destiny's been actually on that, right? But we're going to hopefully we see her next week because I saw the previews. Now, what I didn't like is, and I know her and Martell are friends, but she's carrying. She's being the bone collector, right? She's carrying bones um, to Martell, even though that was her friend first, right? Um, who else we got? We ain't seen Miss Wanda. Y'all, yeah, we ain't seen me. They're going to bring Wanda out later towards the middle, late end because Wanda be too much for herself, right? Uh, we still ain't seen the fight. Now, y'all, come on. We know about the fight. Send, let us see the fight. Can we see the fight? Can we see what happened? Even though they leading up to it. You know, Carlos King keep you in suspense. They leading up to it uh, because I see Martell and Melanie have a conversation about uh, Wanda saying Sugar Mama, uh, questioning Sugar Mama's paternity. <sighs> if we got to wait, listen, if we got to wait till the end of this season for something that happened two years ago, I'm going to have to have a conversation with Carlos King now. Because we just want to see what happened and who was doing what. That's all. You know how we is. You know how black folks is. We just want to be. Ain't nobody get hurt. We know ain't nobody hurt. We just want to see what happened. That's it. That's all. Anyway, um, this, it, it's, it's, um, it's building, right? It's building. Um, it's building. Uh, I'm glad that male, is, and I'm glad that Martell's mother, she said I'm a woman. So she's saying that to say that she understands what Mel was going through. And, you know, she had to get through her hurt and then try to, you know, come around people. I, I you know, I like, that was, that was good. That was, you know, she said it the best way she could. And, and that was correct. Um, but I want, um, I want... I want them to add another couple, right? I want them to add another couple. Uh, I wonder if they'll put Sheree in, you know, at the end or something like that. I don't know. But I did see, I haven't checked into it, so I ain't going to really talk about it too much. Some about Martell and Ariana was spotted out together. I don't know. 
I don't know. And she had a Tiffany box. I don't know what that's about. But I'll check into that and get back with y'all later on that, right? But, um, you know, uh, it's giving what it's supposed to give. Uh, it's giving what it's supposed to give. I'm going to go in here now and watch me some more TV because I love TV. Yeah, that's what I'm about to do. Um, but anyway, y'all, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Uh, thanks for watching Jackie with the Cute. And everybody be cool, okay? I need y'all to be cool.